his kick out finds De Vries. Waiting was Andy Kirk. Away by O'Neill. Sends watch it wide for Boyack. And working hard as ever, John O'Neill. And that looks like a sore one as he tumbled into the advertising boards and onto the track. And Ibs don't want to lose him, that's for sure. Yeah, you're right there, Rob. I think it was a 50-50 challenge with Boyack and John O'Neill, and uh, uh, Stephen Boyack certainly managed to win the ball, and John O'Neill, in, in, in competition for it, managed to go over his leg, and he's maybe took a sore one against the advertising holding at the side of the park. Yeah, it's a fair challenge, but nothing all that. It's John's head, I think, that managed to hit off the, the side of the pitch there. Bank of Scotland certainly had a big yep. impact on him there. Paid to advertise, Rob. Nothing uh, malicious in terms of uh, Stephen Boyack's involvement. He got the ball, but uh, the problem for John O'Neill was that he went tumbling over a Boyack and was then out of control. And I wonder if it was his shoulder, possibly, that struck that board. It's obviously a sore one for him, and uh, as you say, Bobby Williamson certainly wouldn't want to lose John O'Neill. He's, he's obviously the club captain and very, very influential on the park. And it's a big thumping clearance from Yemi. It really is working well for uh, Hearts. You might want to see some pretty stuff and playing football through the midfield, but hammering it down.